if we've got some more information throughout this hour, we'll of course pass that along. In the meantime, warning by candlelight. Hundreds gathered tonight in Teaneck at a vigil for the man police say shot and killed himself inside the Garden State Plaza. Those who knew Richard Shoop are struggling to understand why he snapped, even as new details emerge about his personal troubles. CBS 2's Dave Carlin reports. Friends held this memorial vigil for the 20-year-old Teaneck, New Jersey pizza shop worker who stormed the Garden State Plaza Mall with a rifle stolen from his brother. Investigators say Richard Shoup fired into the air, at walls, and at security cameras, causing thousands to run for their lives and hide. He was found dead in a mall basement where investigators say he shot himself. Kevin Shoup, his brother, was silent at the vigil, but earlier told reporters there was only one real target. Richard himself. My brother intended to harm nobody else but himself. He just sadly decided to make an act of self-indulgence by taking his own life publicly. The brother would not talk about Richard using his rifle, which he owned legally. Tonight, we learned the rifle had been confiscated by police and later returned. Investigators credit Kevin Shoup for calling police after he found a note where Richard said goodbye to friends and referenced what he called the end. At the pizza shop, the manager said he did not sense trouble. He was doing great. He was, you know, going gym, working here, you know, never knew anything about the drugs. Prosecutors say Shoup was a drug abuser and seller whose drug of choice was Molly, a form of ecstasy. Those who knew him point out he did not shoot anyone other than himself even though he had many opportunities while inside the mall. As he stalked the halls, thousands scrambled for cover, many going into stores and quickly closing the gates. And at one point we actually turned the lights off because we were afraid, because we were hearing noises, but we couldn't tell if they were in the store. You know, you, you don't know what's going on. This mall opens tomorrow, 6 a.m. for employees, 10 a.m. for the public. In Paramus, New Jersey, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.